Hi, today I'm going to do a re review and teardown of the XGecko T56 programmer. This programmer is a step further up to the well-known TL866 series programmers from the same manufacturer. It comes in a box and there is a programmer, a USB cable and in-system programming cable as well. Based on the information written from the company, this programmer seems to be pretty good. It's based on PIC32 processor and Xilinx SP6 FPGA. Compared to the ordinary 86-pin uh, universal programmers, this programmer has 8 more EO pins. The advantage of 46 universal drivers is that as long as the chip below 56 pin have the same package, you can program all of them with just one programming socket, which is great. The VCC voltage order is in the range of 1.2 up to 6.5 volts with adjustable 46 levels, and the VPP voltage is 6.5 up to 24, 25 volts, which is great for programming old high voltage chips like EEPROMs. Since the programmer is quite new, the company has releasing new software each month, which is great. The supported chip numbers are increasing every month. The company decided to use black plastic for its housing. Nothing fancy for now. Actually, I prefer more industrial flat design without rounded edges and this honeybee cell-shaped texture. Their previous TL 866 design looks better, I believe. It's strange for me why the labels are placed at, uh, at different angles. This run and pow, which probably means power, are rotated compared to the XGECO labels. They should uh, be here over the LEDs and this pow. <laughs> I think it's common to place pin number one in that direction, like so. Usually pin one sits on the left side and the chip is placed like so. But they decided to put uh, pin one in reverse direction, which is uh, nothing fancy, but I prefer uh, this position because all the classic uh, programmers like Dataman and or Elnik have uh, pin 1 on the left side. There are labels indicating the in-system programming header and here should be pin 1 but this one sits over pin 2. These labels are sits upside down. <laughs> And uh, here are the power button, an USB for the computer, and the DC input connector. There should be written the polarity and the maximum supported voltage for the external DC source. I'm not happy with the overall design, but, uh, but I hope the internals are much better designed. So let's take a screwdriver and see what's inside of this programmer. I can open without breaking this uh, label. <laughs> okay. Let's zoom to see the board. There are multiple transistors on these sides and diodes and probably they are for the VCC, for the programming and for the VDD voltages and this... Uh, what is that? Chip on. <laughs> Thank you.
chip on. There seems to be some kind of drivers. Oh, there are some pins here. There is the PIC32. And again, more discrete, uh, probably transistors here. Chip on. Chip on number ICN2025. 20, 20, 50, no, no, 2025. I'm going to disorder this. There are one, two, three pins to take out this board. Okay, guys, I took out this board. And on the top layer, there are three chips. branded chip on ICN2026. These are 16 channel constant current LED uh, drivers uh, and I think they decided to use them as high voltage shift registers and probably this portion of the board is uh, responsible for the VCC and VPP voltage. On the bottom side, there are classic 595 shift registers, and I think they're responsible for grounding or setting down to ground for each pin when uh, different chips are selected. These pins go to the uh, bottom board, and probably these are control pins and the supply pins for the entire circuit here. This is probably the most interesting board and on the top side there is a Spartan FPGA. The DC to DC converters probably they are responsible for powering the Spartan and the big uh, microprocessor here and all of the voltages uh, different levels of VCC and VPP I can clearly see some voltage dividers here with uh, a couple of transistors for switching between different uh, levels and probably there are some other resistors here for the same job for different VCC or probably VDD voltages. The same chip on uh, LED driver is used here for the these extra pins. As you can see this Spartan FPJ is uh, next to the connector and on the bottom there are all of the bypass capacitors while the peak is moved a little bit left because there must be enough place for the bypass capacitor for the peak microcontroller as well. There are a lot of discrete uh, probably switches and some kind of protection for protections for the for these uh, chips here. A couple of inductors, and there are two classic LM two five eight dual op amps as well. This is probably the programming header here. And that is. I'm trying to investigate uh, where is connected the which one is which was the polarity of this um, DC jack, and I think this is the ground. So the output is the ground, and the tip or the pin is the positive pin. Probably. There nothing written about this connector. I did some tests uh, with different microcontrollers and memories. Uh, everything works pretty good. I'm quite excited. Also, this programmer supports most of these traditional uh, 
logic logics like this 40 48 or of the these classic you know logics chips uh, so i'm quite excited by this uh, programmer really it uh, does great job uh, only this levels is my uh, uh, cons of uh, this programmer i hope you enjoyed this video if so please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new videos updates see you soon